I'm Dr. Carla Conrad. I'm a first year family medicine resident. I would like to talk to you about my reflections from the beginning of residency. First thing first, one really cool thing uh, my co-residents did is we organized a get together before first day of orientation. And that was really cool. We met at somebody else's house, one of the residents' house, and we just shared a meal and a few funny stories. And that really got my anxiety level down. So first day of orientation comes up, I show up there and I already know most people. That was pretty cool. Um, at the beginning we had a week of orientation with a lot of educational days, kind of talking about what to expect, what you need to know for the program, where to go. Um, we rotate with multiple hospitals. So it was like we had orientation at this one hospital, orientation at the second hospital, orientation at the clinic. We're everywhere and for everything we need a different orientation. Another fun fact is that we have three different EMRs, electric medical record system. And I'm from Brazil. I come where we would uh, do our patient records on paper. So saying I was overwhelmed by all of this is another statement. Only for a half second because people are amazing. Uh, I just spoke up like, hey, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this before. And they were so helpful. It's like, oh, you just click here. Let's save this and that. And honestly, so far in this five weeks, that's the strategies I have been using the most. Asking for help. Saying, I have no idea what I'm doing. Please help. Help. And I found that people are very open to help me once they find that out. I thought... I thought that most people would be annoyed by it, but no, they're pretty cool. They are very helpful. I am in the Midwest where everybody is pretty nice. I know they talk about Midwest nice, but around here, I think most people are nice. So we had to learn a few rules, safety rules, all that stuff that even like any job you need to learn and Know where to park and get your badges. <sighs> get your badges. So on the first day, that was my favorite part. Get the badge with my name and it says doctor. Like, <laughs> Moving on, we had our first day of clinic. I was so terrified. I was feeling like I couldn't even remember my name. I was going to see a patient and nothing. My patient was very straightforward, otitis externa, and I knew what to do, I knew what to ask, I knew what to say, and I was like, all those things were like calming me down a little bit, and I was like, okay, I got this. I had my attending right next to me. Um, she was next to me um, the first time I went to clinic to make sure I had the basic skills to move on and see patients on my own. Even when I see patients on my own, I still need to staff those patients, meaning, so I see the patient and then I step out and I go to the attending and it's like, hey, so this patient comes with this, this and that. I'm thinking about doing this and that. What do you think? And sometimes I might even bring the attending with me back to the room. Uh, there was a patient that had a little cyst and it's like, I'm pretty sure it's this, but can you take a look with me? And he was like, yeah. And he went there, he was like, yeah, it looks like what you said. It's like, okay. I did talk to HR the other day and she was like, how was your day? I was like, I start the day terrified and I end the day very happy. It's just an emotional roller coaster. And it only has been five weeks. And she goes, well, I'm glad that's happening that order and not the other way around. Like not starting happy and finishing terrifying. So I guess like a lot of disorientation time and like there's a lot of firsts 
first day at OB clinic, first day at regular clinic, first day, first weekend call. Uh, but I was never alone. I'd never been alone. Um, There's always attending nursing staff, um, other residents, like older residents. Um, lots of people I can ask for help and all of them have been pretty amazing. The craziest thing is discovering that I actually know one thing or two. I really start terrified, like I don't know anything. And once I get a breath, I can calm down. It's like, oh, I think it's this. And Tammy goes, I think so too. You agree with me? Yes, I do. Okay, uh, let's move on. <laughs> it's a lot of learning and medical knowledge is there for us. You know, we've been through medical school, even if we had took a few gap years, we did step one, we did step two, we did all the steps. We, <laughs> we study all the things, we have all of that. A lot of it is like taken from the back of our head and applying to a patient and using clinical thinking, like, hmm, is this really what applies? Should I review the guideline? A lot of the learning also is, like in my case, about myself and how I react to different situations and learning as somebody that suffers from imposter syndrome all the time, I'm slowly learning to trust myself and trust my own judgment. Like as an IMG, things has been a little bit tougher and it's kind of hard to assimilate that I made it, I mean residency, this is where I should be, this is where I belong and slowly I am assimilating that. Meeting new people has been very fun. My residents and staff and attending, everybody has been just so nice. A little roller coaster, but as long as I start terrified and finish super happy and accomplished, guess I'm doing well. Those are my reflections.